a typical communist-era apartment complex in Budapest. Rents here are lower than in other parts of the Hungarian capital, but students living here still struggle. Aaron shares a 40 square metre flat with a friend to make ends meet. Each pays 200 euros a month. In Hungary, it's completely unrealistic for a student to afford an apartment on their own. That only works if you have a family willing to support you. The 25-year-old works 20 hours a week on the side. He says as much as two-thirds of his income goes towards his rent. We're trying to invest in our future, to be well-educated, but we can't focus on that. On the one hand, we need to devote our attention to our studies. On the other, we must work to live. And he's not alone. Some 30,000 young people attend university in Budapest, yet fewer than half of them have a room in an affordable student residence. The rest must seek other accommodations. Those are pricey and hard to come by. There are very few affordable apartments for rent in Budapest. That's because over 80% of all flats here are owner-occupied. So there's not as much on offer here as there would be in Western Europe, for example. The Hungarian government knows that there's a lack of affordable housing, and it's promised to help by creating living space for some 12,000 students here. Aaron is visiting the planned building site, but he's skeptical, because it's become known that a Chinese university campus, a branch of Fudan University, is also to be constructed here. He fears that this will leave less room for student apartments, perhaps none at all. Hungary won't profit, Budapest won't profit, and there's a housing crisis that must be solved. And it could be solved if the government had the will to do it. Fudan is an elite university. Supporters say it would enhance Hungary's status as an education hub. I think it would be good for us because it's a very well-known and good university coming to Budapest. That's an honor. It's very good that such a famous university is coming here, because that will stoke competition between Fudan and the Hungarian universities. That will help them all advance. Yet, a recent poll found that most Hungarians are against the construction of the Chinese university. In early June, thousands of people gathered outside parliament demonstrating for affordable housing and against Fudan. Aaron was at the forefront. We must fight exploitation using every tool at our disposal. The student campus belongs to us. Hungary has long had its eyes on China. Since Viktor Orban took power in 2010, he's pursued a policy of opening to the east. Its aim? To attract Chinese investment to Hungary. The pandemic has helped advance Orban's strategy. Last year, China supplied tons of personal protective equipment, which he made a point of receiving in person. Diplomatic ties with China are close. Gergely Karachon, the centre-left mayor of Budapest and Orban critic, intends to run for parliament next year. He can see no good reason for the governing Fidesz party to push ahead with Fudan University. Forcing this Fudan issue is political suicide for Fidesz, especially during an election campaign. The project is so unpopular. Even half of Fidesz supporters are against it, and other voters are fully opposed. Someone must stand to profit from it. So what's behind the Fudan plans? Can Orban's government fulfill its promise to find enough space for the Chinese university and the student residents? We wanted to hear the government's side, but our request for an interview went unanswered. Aaron says he's had enough. While the government has announced it will hold a referendum about Fudan University, he has no faith in Fidesz. What would it take to change things? I don't think that Orban is suddenly going to come to his senses and solve the housing crisis. He's had a decade to do that, and he's not going to tackle that in future either. A new government is our only chance to bring about change.
The mayor of Budapest has had new street signs posted at the proposed construction site for Fudan University to protest against Chinese influence. Should the university be completed by 2024 as planned, staff and students will have to turn on to Dalai Lama Street or Free Hong Kong Street to reach the lecture hall.